This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 I don't know about you, but I love Halloween. It is my most favorite time of year. It is the most wonderful time of the year, no matter what anyone else says. I know it's September. It's actually the first week of September as I film this, but Halloween starts the day after my birthday in my book. My birthday being the 21st of August. Halloween starts the 22nd of August. <laughs> actually, technically this year Halloween started a little bit before my birthday because I was in America around the time, uh, kind of the week leading up to my birthday and I found, in TJ Maxx in particular, big shelves full of Halloween stuff. Now, we don't get it like this over here in the UK. There's like some little shitty things here and there, but it's not the same. And I had to try really hard not to buy loads of things. And actually, I'm now regretting some certain things that I didn't buy. Like, for example, there was like a... Was there like a... Like a... Like a Mickey Mouse Halloween blanket? There was lots of very cozy blankets, like throws for the sofa and stuff that I really wanted but this was like right at the end of our trip and our bag was already like super full and I was like can I get away putting a, a throw in there it was really cheap as well and I really wanted it and there was so much good stuff uh, anyway I went away with a couple of Halloweeny things first of all this sorry I'm getting carried away but I don't care I'm going to show you anyway this gorgeous uh, Grogu too cute to spook I love it so much and oh my god this is the softest thing I've ever felt I actually don't know what it's made of, but it feels like the angels made it themselves. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Ah, that's why it's so stretchy, but it's so soft. Oh my God, I love it so much. And it came with shorties as well. Little Grogu shorties. And they're also incredibly soft. So if you are in America, go to TJ Maxx right now. They had lots of really good Halloweeny stuff, but this is my favorite. Uh, I also got this uh, Snoopy Halloween mug, and the inside at the bottom of the cup it says Happy Halloween. So when you when you finish your drink, you get a little season's greeting. Hmm. Since we got back, I've been going around the shops. Uh, looking at Halloween things, including like TK Maxx over here, uh, not good. I was in B&M a couple of days ago and they had some wreath and I was like, hmm, Halloween wreath. I had, I got like a, like a cheapy, like pumpkin-y, orangey wreath. I don't remember where I got it, but I got one last year and I had it on the door and it was fine. I just, whatever. It was, it was the first time I really had a wreath that wasn't a Christmas wreath and even I think last year was the first time I ever had a Christmas wreath. The autumn one wasn't very good. I still have it. Yeah, I do still have it. Yeah, that one. It's in the garage. And so anyway, I was in B&M a couple of days ago and they had this... Honey? Excuse me. Come here. They had this really nice wreath in B&M and it was just black feathers all around in a circle, a little raven in it or crow, and that was it. And it was quite simple, but beautiful. And then I looked at the price tag and it was 15 pounds. And I was like, I kind of felt it. It was super light. It was like essentially mostly uh, like styrofoam or something. And then the feathers, I guess, were glued on and then they stuck a crow raven-y thing. And I was like, oh, 15 pounds is a lot for that. Hello. Are you part of this video now? What do you think about Halloween? What's your opinion on Halloween? She's purring, that means she likes it. This is mine. Mine. What do you think about Halloween, honey? Have we got your costume since last year that we never had you wear and we still have it and this year you're gonna wear it yeah <gasps> get away from my drink anyway i didn't want to pay 15 pounds for something that was like quite cheap 
and I reckon I could make myself. So I'm gonna, or slash, I have. By the time I'm filming this, I've almost completed it. It's pretty much there and I think it's gonna look good, but we'll see. Here's how I did it. So I started by getting some tin foil, scrunching it up and making it into a circle. I knew I wanted it to be about 40 centimeters, I think. <laughs> so I measured it and then I realized that the cutting mat actually has a ruler around the side. So I used that and I just made the ring bigger to the size I wanted it to be. Et voila. I used some recycled bottles to make the dome of the ring. Let me just, there we go. Here's what I actually did. I had to cut through the plastic, which was incredibly difficult to do because these bottles are thick. If you have any tools that are better than a box cutter, I would highly recommend using them. In my case, a box cutter and this heavy juicy scissors was the best I had lying around, so that's what I used. I cut along one side of it once I've got the top and the bottom off. And then because I wanted both halves of it to be approximately the same size so that the depth of the ring would be the same all the way around, I measured it and I marked where the halfway mark was. Handily, it was about 10 inches around and so I marked it at the five inch uh, part and the bottom part was nine and a half inches. So it was just slightly less wide. I realized pretty much at the end that I didn't really need to measure because there's actually lines that run across either side of the bottle, I guess where the bottle has been joined when it was made and so I could have just cut along those but I didn't realize that until I'd already done all the cutting. I used some paper to try and work out the shapes that I needed for the ring uh, because cutting it straight across won't really work because obviously uh, the ring will have a smaller inner circle than an outer circle so it made sense to do a slight V shape and I just wanted to make sure, so I used some paper to do that. Once I was confident I was doing the right thing, I went ahead and marked the bottles and cut them into the same shapes. I then took all the plastic pieces and laid them around the ring to make sure that they definitely all fit around in case I had to make the ring a bit smaller. And then because the plan is to hang this on my front door outside, I wanted to make sure it was waterproof. Wait, why did I do this? I don't know, but I wrapped the tin foil in plastic and super glued it in place. Once that was done, I took the individual plastic pieces and glued them around the ring. I then wanted to create a back piece to hold the tin foil and everything else in. So I did that by using some cardboard and some more of that plastic. And I wrapped the cardboard in the plastic because again, I wanted to make sure it was waterproof in case anything got through the plastic. I glued that plastic bottle ring on top of the cardboard bit and then it was a bit uneven, so I decided to take some masking tape and just wrap the whole thing in masking tape to just create just a bit more evenness all the way around. I then used some pretty regular black poster paint and painted the whole thing. To make the little crow, I once again used some tin foil, made it into a general bird shape. And then also wrap that in masking tape before painting it. I made the beak for the bird off camera, as you can see. This is me realizing I'm doing it off camera. I then cut a little hole in his face and super glue the beak on. There he is. He looks more like a kiwi 
than a crow. I then cover the ring and the bird in Mod Podge. The idea was for it to live outside and I wasn't sure how the paint was going to survive. I'm not sure if Mod Podge will do much about that either. Here's me thinking I'll be real clever and do a cool little cut where I throw some feathers and all of a sudden the whole ring is covered in feathers. Which would have been cool but I forgot to uh, film the second part of that, aka the ring being covered in feathers. So here's me doing it and then having to tidy up after. Gluing on the feathers was a pretty straightforward job, so I didn't really film the whole thing because it was a lot of me just gluing and then holding it in place while the glue dried. Rinse and repeat. For the little crow, I used some of my fluffier, smaller feathers and I just tried to make him look fluffy and feathery. I also had some smaller, thinner, kind of long feathers that I used to create a kind of wing shape on the side. Look at his tiny fuzzy head. He looks like he's about to go to a disco. <gasps> Should we show them the final product? What do you think? I think that's a yes. All right. Roll the afters. I also got Snoopy Spooky socks. Yeah, hold on. I'll show you. Wait there. Hold on. Wait there, honey. Wait there. I mean, it's sideways, but... Can you see? It's a pumpkin and a little Snoopy. Little Halloween Snoopy on top. Can you see it? This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween!